So hi guys, today in lesson five, speaking and listening, we're going to be looking at the muscular system. I really want you to be able to identify different components of the muscular system, as well as how the muscular system is part of a larger interconnected system. Some words that you're going to hear in today's read aloud are cardiac muscle. A cardiac muscle is muscular tissue of the heart that contracts rhythmically and continuously. To contract means to bring together, to shorten, or to tighten. Muscles are body tissue made of long cells that contract or tighten and relax to produce motion. Nerves are bundles of fibers throughout the body that can transmit sensations, information, and instructions to the brain and spinal cord. Voluntary muscles are muscles that can be controlled by someone's own choice. So let's do a quick little review from yesterday's previous read alouds. So which system are bones in? Skeletal system. You're right, skeletal system. So what are the different types of joints? If you said movable, immovable, and partially movable, you'd be correct. Then I want you to stop and think for a minute and tell me why cartilage and ligaments are important to the skeletal system. Ah, so you got to be able to explain that to us. Remember that cells are the building blocks of life. I want you to be able to explain that different types of cells make up tissues that make up the different organs in the human body. Today, you're going to be learning about the different types of muscles in the human body. Think about the different types of muscles in your own body and the different ways that you use muscles. You can add this to our KWL chart. Are all muscle actions able to be seen? No, they really aren't. As we go through the read aloud, if you have any other questions or you wonder about something that we talk about, read about, make sure to write that down and add that to our KWL chart under the W. I want you to listen carefully during today's read aloud about their muscular system and how it's interconnected with other body systems and to see the different types of muscles in the human body. Hi guys, it's me, Ricardo. Last time we were together, I told you that our next discussion would be about a system that works extremely well with your skeletal system. Did any of you predict the name of the system we're going to talk about today? If you predicted the muscular system, you're correct. You've learned how the bones in your skeletal system are connected from head to toe. Bones form the important framework of your body, but they could not move without the help of your muscles. So what are muscles? The word muscle comes from the Latin word musculus. Muscles are made up of bundles of long, thin cells. They are controlled by signals that come from your brain and spinal cord, which carry messages through nerves to every part of your body. Muscles receive these messages, telling them when to contract or tighten, how to contract, and for how long. When muscles contract, they squeeze together, shortening and causing movement. Muscles are at work in your body all the time, even while you are sleeping. You have more than 650 muscles in your body, making up between one-third and one-half of your body weight. So let's stop and do a little true-false just to see if you've been paying attention. True or false? Muscles are made up of bundles of long, thin cells. 
Ah, yes, true. Muscles are made up of bundles of long, thin cells. True or false? Muscles are controlled by signals from your feet. False. They're controlled by your brain and spinal cord. True or false? Muscles go to sleep when you go to sleep. Ah, again, false. Muscles continue to work even while you are asleep. There are three types of muscles in your body, but most of them are skeletal muscles. Your skeletal muscles work closely with your bones to give them mobility or motion. Just as there are axial bones and appendicular bones, there are axial muscles and appendicular muscles. Which muscles do you think are axial? Right, the ones in your head, neck, and torso. And where are the appendicular muscles located? That's right, in your arms and legs. Most muscles work in pairs. Muscles only pull on bone. They cannot push. As your muscle pulls, as your muscles pull on bone, they contract or get shorter. In order to relax or lengthen, muscles need a partner to pull the bone in the opposite direction. Paired muscles never pull at the same time. One pulls, the other relaxes. One relaxes, the other pulls. Look at this picture of the muscles in your upper arm. It shows what happens when you make a fist and bend your arm. The biceps muscle contracts and bends your elbow, while your triceps muscle relaxes. When you straighten your arm out again, your triceps muscle contracts and your biceps muscle relaxes. By working in pairs, taking turns pulling on your bones, skeletal muscles enable you to ride a bike, play the guitar, or climb a mountain. Skeletal muscles come in all sorts of shapes and sizes, fat and skinny, long and circular. Because you control your skeletal muscles, deciding when and how you want to move your bones, they are called voluntary muscles. The movement does not happen automatically. You make a conscious decision to move the muscles attached to your bones. Narrow rope-like tissues called tendons attach bones to muscles. You can see the tendons under your skin if you flex your arm back and forth. Try it. Bend your elbow as if you wanted to show off your muscles and feel the tendon just under the skin on the inside of your elbow. What are the other good places to view your tendons in action? Look at your neighbor's neck. Can you find the tendons as he or she turns his head or her head? Can you find tendons in your arms or legs? The muscles in your legs are the largest and strongest skeletal muscles in your body. One of these muscles is your calf muscle. Feel your calf muscle at the back of your lower leg. It is responsible for much of your movement, helping to bend your knee when you walk or run. It is attached to your heel bone by the longest and most powerful tendon in your body, the Achilles tendon. If your Achilles tendon is cut or torn, the use of the leg for jumping and running is lost immediately until it heals. The tendon is named for an ancient Greek mythological figure. Its variant, Achilles heel, is a figurative phrase indicating our weak spots, places where we feel most likely to be hurt, either physically or emotionally. In addition to skeletal muscle, there is a smooth muscle and cardiac muscle. 
Are you ready for another riddle? I'm a muscle. Like music, I have a rhythm and a beat. I am protected by the rib cage. What am I? If you thought and said heart, you'd be correct. Does anyone know what type of muscle is contained in your heart? Smooth or cardiac? Your thick, powerful heart is made of cardiac muscle, the strongest muscle in your body found only in your heart. Unlike skeletal muscle, healthy cardiac muscle never tires. It is continually contracting and relaxing, rhythmically pumping blood around your body all day and all night. Cardiac muscle is an involuntary muscle, meaning that you do not control its movement. Your brain controls how fast your heart beats without you even thinking about it. Why do you think that is important? Smooth muscle is the third type of muscle in your body. It is also involuntary muscle because you cannot consciously move it. It contracts exactly like skeletal muscles do, only much more slowly. Smooth muscle lines the walls of internal organs and blood vessels and uses less energy than skeletal muscles. It squeezes and tightens, mixing and churning food in the stomach. It lines your lungs and blood vessels, too. The next time we meet, we'll talk about the system that controls all your other body systems. The system controls both the voluntary and involuntary muscles in your body, and much more. Can you guess what system it is? We'll see if you've guessed correctly. Now, you may answer some questions from your teacher, so be careful. Remember, you can always rewind and rewatch the video to get the answer. Hope you have some fun and learn something new.